Okay, guys, so now we're going to be talking about those loop layouts, kind of what makes a loop layout, what is it, how is it comprised, and most importantly, how do you go about building your own one? Now, Body Commerce gives you the option to use loop layouts in three ways. The newly introduced pre-made loop layouts, you would have seen that in one of the previous lessons here. You can code your own loop layout, and I will link a tutorial in the description of these lessons to show you how to go ahead and do that. I did one recently on that. Very helpful to really speed up your site. And then of course you can use the Divi Builder and the Body Commerce specific modules that we've added to go ahead and build your own. So first let's take a look at the components of loop layout. So here is that layout that we built last time when we were working with the archive loop module. And I can break it down like this. A loop layout basically is a product card. So each one of these items that you see here on my screen, it is comprised of in this specific example of a thumbnail image, the product title, and then the add to cart, which will have the pricing and all that fun stuff included with that. And each one of these elements becomes a stylable object where you can control exactly what it looks like. Now, depending on whether you're using this layout, which is the WooCommerce store, Divi store layout that we have as a, as a loop template for you, or whether you bought that your own one, it can be as complex or as simple as you want it to be. Now, moving here to our documentation, I'll link this also in the description of this lesson. You can see here all the modules that you can use on that loop templates. So you can use the LL thumbnail module, the product button, the add to cart, the attributes, uh, just a simple view product, um, the pricing, title, short description, meta, rating, doc status, so many different things. We've added all these modules for you to have the ability to make these look exactly the way you want. Now you can also use normal things like text modules or other images or brands. And there's so many different ways that you can really get into showing your unique way of doing things. Um, you know, brands sometimes make sense if it's maybe a shoe store or whatever it might be. Now, if you were to code your own loop template, that's definitely the best way to do it. But, you know, obviously we understand not everybody has that uh, will or desire to struggle with code. And this is a sample product loop that WooCommerce has here to just kind of show you how to make a very, very basic product loop. Um, we're not really interested in this um, because here is a tutorial that I did exactly on how to do this from start to finish. Now, this one is built for Divi Machine, but the concepts will remain the same. Uh, you might use some different hooks and stuff, but this gets into using custom post types, all sorts of great stuff. But then you can utilize that right within Body Commerce or Ajax Filter or Divi Machine. A lot of different ways to do it. And when we're looking at some inspiration for loop templates or loop layout templates, Dribble is a great place to go. I just type in store page and here you can see all different levels of complexity within these um, different designs, all things that you can pretty much recreate with Divi Body Commerce. It's really cool. It's really easy to do. And it just gives you that more bespoke feeling to the sites that you do build. Another example I wanted to show you here is to look at the Apple site. And when you look at, let's say the iPhones, this itself is also a loop template or loop layout. And you can see that they have pretty much the same elements. They've got a little product slide or a little uh, product image, so a thumbnail. They've got all the variations that are available. So that could be attributes, could be variations, could be different things. So those are the colors, the title, probably an excerpt, the pricing, the add to cart, and then the view post button. How easy is that? We saw all of these right here when we looked at the modules. So you can do all of that. You can recreate Apple's product loop. How cool is that? So we're going to get into that during this part of the course. So strap on in. It's going to be some learning time. Let's go. 